Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool classic arcade game video for you today. This is Namco's 1995 Soul Edge. It's a very cool game. This was when they were doing their System 11 stuff. And I just looked it up, and it came out the year after the original Tekken. So it's kind of like a different um, storyline, of course, set in a different universe than Tekken. And it, uh, the, the graphics are a little better than the Tekken series at that time. So they did Tekken 2 right after this one. Um, but the graphics on Soul Edge are a little different than Tekken. They're a little more 3D looking. Tekken is, was a little more polygon looking. I guess this is probably still polygons too, but it just looks different. You'll see here in a minute if you've never played it. Uh, and there's eight characters. So it didn't have anywhere near the number of characters that were in Tekken 2. Tekken 2... Uh, version B ended up with like hell 21 characters or something like that so we'll check it out this is a kit they put in a just a red Z back cabinet we call them because of the Z in the back these were really popular cabinets for kits because it was really easy to change out the game and Namco always sent out this really cool side art with them that was die cut so it was in the shape of the characters and things like that so on this cabinet with red uh, laminate on the side, it's very striking. They even put the, uh, the little Namco logo on it. But originally, it says produced by Dynamo Corp, and then it says Capcom on it. So originally this would have had some kind of Capcom game in it. But, like I said, it was mainly for kits anyways. So one of the things they were bragging about back when this came out uh, was the way that the graphics worked. Check out her hair. <laughs> the way the graphics worked to where they could make the, like the, the, the swords glisten and gleam. And the sword says, Warrior this beautiful. And then I can't read the rest of it. So this cabinet has bolts all over it. I've seen these like that before. I'm, I assume that was somebody fixed it. Maybe it was coming apart and they put some bolts in it to fix it. But I've seen a bunch of them like this, actually. So maybe that was something that people were suggesting in a Replay Magazine or something at the time. Because it seems like a lot of them have that done to it. Or maybe not. The control panel overlay is just very generic, so you can put it on anything. And you just cut off the extra. I don't know if that's the button configuration they told you to put it in, but I think it is. I think they all, they're all like that, whereas Tekken, you know, they were in a square. It says, the same sword, warrior, this beautiful, and then the other side is just it reflected, I believe. The Quickness Hall of Fame. Namco. Soul Edge. So this was before Soul Calibur. And before Soul Calibur 2. You can see how the graphics are a little better than Tekken. Not much, but a little bit. A little more going on. You could also guard against it, like you could both guard at the same time and you kind of get into a struggle, which they felt was more realistic, you know. You've got a sword, they've got a sword, or whatever your weapon is. And they, you like put them together and then fight each other, kind of like a battle of strength. And uh, I think you can disarm your opponent too. You can knock the weapon out of their hand. I don't know how that would work with guys with knives for fingers. Or I guess those are things that he's wearing. Maybe that could be knocked out of his hand. Maybe we'll try. What do you think about that? Alright, so I'll set up the tripod and we'll play a little bit and see if it's as fun as it looks. Alright, folks, this one's a noisy one. You can hear it buzzing. Welcome to the stage of history. <laughs> there are eight characters. Knockout. 
defended with the victory of victory. You win. The music's awesome. Battle to fight. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
They're telling me right in the game it's an impossible enemy. Come on. Battle to fight. Ooh, that didn't work. Don't try to sidestep this guy. Oh, come on. How embarrassing. Stood again against an impossible enemy. You lose. <laughs> Who have we not seen yet? Sofa Tia. some moves. Alright, 
that will be rocked. Battle one. Fight. <laughs> Man, he took out the trash. Of rock. You win. Come on now. She's going to do a sunset flip with a guy that weighs 350 pounds. Come on. You lose. Oh, no. Oh man, she's so powerful. She's so powerful. We'll try him one more time. She's just styling on me now. You lose. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try somebody different. <laughs> Lee Long. Battle run. Fight. This is very embarrassing. You lose. <laughs> now she's laughing at me. to the stage of history. Against an impossible enemy. 
Well, you see how this is going. Four, three, two, one, zero. Will you challenge the enemy again? <laughs> it's such a great looking game. It's pretty fun too, but I don't know any of the damn moves. I got to figure them out. But there you go. That is Namco's Soul Edge. Really cool game. Didn't it come out for... Was it on the PlayStation? I think I've seen it before, but... Of course, I've seen an arcade game a bunch, but I don't remember what home systems they brought it out for. But maybe you remember. Were you any good at it back in the day? What am I missing here? The button combos were always different on the Namco stuff than the uh, Capcom stuff and the Midway stuff, so I just never, I never played them much. But anyway, there you have it. Now, by the time you see this video, Soul Edge may have already uh, gone out of bounds to someone else's game room, right? But you can see all the games that we do have available for sale. Oh, it might tell me on here how to do this stuff. That'd be cool. It, <laughs> you can go to our website and see everything that we do have for sale at lionsarcade.com. Or, if you're local, you can stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We've got a whole room full of arcade games like this at all times. Right? Now, if you can't come by because you don't live anywhere near here and you don't want to buy one so you're not going to look on our website, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube and every time we get in a cool video, we'll film a little video of it like this for you. So give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you even though I wasn't very good. Leave your comments below. Make sure to subscribe to us and we'll see you on the next video.